Hey guys, so this is going to be a little bit of a different uh, operations video. There's going to be a couple of different parts here. I did a poll recently and a lot of viewers wanted to see how I actually put my operations videos together. So this video is going to be about that. We're also going to include the operations portion at the very end. So if you don't care about how I make the video, look at the timestamp down in the description and you can go right to the final uh, edit of the operations video. All right, guys, so we're going to take a quick, like really quick view of uh, a video of me actually doing the video. So you can see I've sped it up over here and we're only going to watch a small portion of this because uh, it's uh, it's dragged out. It actually took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do the entire video that you're going to see at the end here, the completed product. Um, so I've kind of sped this little portion up here and you can see. I'm using a tripod um, and a few little props and things like that. Um, you can see my little bottle of alcohol there. I use that to support the camera. And I'm repositioning things constantly. You can see there I'm moving the uh, camera. I'm using the, the bottle of uh, alcohol to sort of prop my camera and uh, get a good view of the scene right there as I record it. I'm actually holding up a lamp to uh, get better lighting on, on the scene here. All right, guys, so there you go. You saw the entire, well, almost entire filming process for doing the operations video. Now let's jump into the desktop here, put it all together. So the first thing I have to do is um, do the splash screen. You know how I have my splash screen at the splash screen at the beginning of the video, um, you know, with my little sidebar and all that stuff. So let's take a look at the video or the couple of pictures and how I do that. So first off, I took a few uh, snapshots of the locomotive, kind of trying to represent what the video is actually going to be about. I'll take a look at a couple of these and I actually settled on this one right here. So this is the one I'm going to use for the splash screen. It's a uh, 708. So um, just to keep things clear, I'm going to delete the other ones that I have sitting here. That's going to be our uh, splash screen. And I go to a certain site to go do that. Um, let's see here. Video two is Luna Picks is where I go. Uh, real easy site to use. Um, go ahead and give it a try. Again, I'll put the link for the sites that I use. Um, to uh, do the videos and stuff like that in the description along with the software and all that good stuff. So I'm going to upload my uh, splash screen here. I've got it in my working directory here called video two. We'll grab that. I'll let that upload. Um, I do a little touch up over here. So uh, the first thing I do is actually kind of adjust the color saturation, um, kind of brighten it up just a little bit. Not too much, depending on how uh, how the actual picture looks. Maybe just a little bit more. All right. And uh, yeah, the camera, I didn't have the light or anything on it. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the light levels here. And let's see here. We'll do, we'll do some highlights. We'll see how that looks. Kind of just brighten things up a little bit. All right, that looks good. And there was another one, adjust color. Here it is. So here's the brightness. It's going to bump up the brightness a little bit so the splash screen looks nice and pretty. All right, that looks good. I'm going to hit apply. Uh, now I'm going to put my sidebar on there. So it's under effects, blend to images. I'm going to go ahead and choose my other image. I have another working directory just called train. I've got all my little parts and pieces right there. So here's my splash screen sidebar. I'm going to go ahead and upload that. And, uh, you know, I have it on the side here, so I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And we'll kind of line it up over here at the top. Oh, that looks good. We'll drag it down here over to the bottom. Eh, just kind of scale it up. I always eyeball these, so sometimes they're a little bit bigger and they're a little bit smaller. All right, that looks good. We'll hit apply. Um, and then we're going to paste a, a little thing over here that says like operations or something like that. So we'll do uh, 
another image and it's going to paste the previous one so i'm going to change the image and we're going to go back into our directory here and i have a couple little uh, pre-made things that I can paste in there. So there's my operations. Um, let's see here, find a good spot for it. Um, I always try to remember that um, when you're looking at the videos on YouTube, um, you usually have like the timestamp thing over here, you know, when you're looking at it. So try not to put anything right into the very corner over here. All right, operations, that looks good right there. All right, we'll hit apply. And uh, since this is kind of a operation slash how to video, I'm going to blend my how I do it part. Here we go. How I do it. I grab that. Go ahead and paste that in there. And we'll put that one up here maybe. Try to kind of get them about the same size. Something like that. You know, not covering up the palm tree. How I do it, operations, that looks good, right? Um, you know, I thought about putting a Hollywood sign back here because we we're kind of talking about video production, but I couldn't, meh, too much crap. All right, we'll apply that. That's our final splash screen. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. It's down over here. So I would just minimize this. Uh, here's my working directory, video two right over here above my head. So I'm gonna grab that, drop it in there, and uh, we can close that out. Now, if we go back in here, uh, there's my splash screen with all of my good edits. Okay. So now we're going to jump into my uh, Filmora video editing software here. So I'll let that come up. All right. So here we go. This is the first thing you see in Filmora number nine, uh, new project. That's what I'm going to click on. And here's our screen. Now we just got to import all our stuff here. This may look somewhat familiar with some of the other uh, video editing software that you guys may see or use. Again, I'm going to bring in pretty much uh, all of this. So let's just grab everything, hit open, let it upload, or, well, transfer into the actual program. All right, and we're going to go one by one over here because this is going to be what we're editing right now is just going to be the uh, the actual operations part of the video there's other parts that are the other parts of this video <laughs> so uh, so the first thing i do is grab my splash screen going to drop it right there and uh, then we're going to grab all our other videos here um, that's our picture that we don't need so basically let me get rid of that whoops didn't want to do that all right so basically all of these are all of the videos of the uh, the operations here. So I'm going to run it at uh, 1080p 30 frames per second because that's what my camera records in. We'll let all of that get loaded in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just make it, resize it down here so I can actually see everything. And uh, here comes the fun part. Now we're going to start clipping everything down here. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn my volume up just so I can hear it a little bit. And this is a preview screen right here. We'll let it play through. And uh, you can see the red line down here. Here's where it's actually coming through. So the first thing we're going to see is the, the train running from the left up the line over here. And you can see there's a lot of stuff. You can hear me clipping around in the background. kind of get to the right part a lot of this video is going to get cut out so you know when i've recorded all that stuff <laughs> probably like uh 70 of everything on here is going to get cut out and you can see there's parts here before i started actually filming let's go ahead and zoom over just a little bit right to the train running right right about there i think that's where it stops yep all right so we'll start right about there okay I'm going to go ahead and clip it, highlight this thing down there, and get rid of the whole beginning. All right. Now here's our train coming through. And this whole process kind of is the same for every other clip. So we're not going to kind of go through everything. I'm going to show you a few of them here. 
Um, otherwise, this video would be really long. Right? So our train stops. And then you can see the shadows and stuff. That's me getting ready to disconnect. So I'm just going to back up a little bit just after it stops and before I do the shadows. I'm going to clip that out. I'm actually going to zoom in here on the bottom so we get a little bit uh, finer view. So that's that little piece right there at the end that I'm going to get rid of. And then we cut to the next scene. So train pulls in. And then we switch over to another scene where we disconnect and pull away. I'm actually going to clip out the very beginning of it. Let's go ahead and play that. You can hear you can hear the bell, you can hear the brakes coming off, and we're pulling away. And I think I'm going to stop it right about there. I'm going to clip that off. Let's take a look at what's after it. Uh, nothing. So we'll get rid of that part. And now the train's going to come through the uh, through the turnout and come back and basically do a run around. So we're going to just watch the train sort of come by right about when it's coming into frame. So I'm going to clip it in this whole section right here. Gone. All right. And then we'll see the train go by right about there. Uh, I'm going to clip it. Make sure it make sure it cuts right there. And then let's see. Yeah, nothing else after that. We're going to get rid of that. We switch to our next scene. Um, and then now that we've got a couple of clips already trimmed, I'm going to go over here up to the top where it says transitions and I have a fade transition. So, um, you know, where you see that little black fade, um, over, and I'm just going to put that across all of the, uh, the transitions here. So let's go ahead and watch it from the beginning. So here we are. This is how the video starts. You can see it fades into our first shot of the train coming by the uh, SoCal industry here. Pulls just past the turnout and then stops. I can hear the engines winding down. As soon as the train stops right here, we should have a nice transition over to the other scene. Breaks off. Train starts pulling away. And then um, later on, what I do is I actually adjust the volume. Here's our next transition. Train's coming back to do our runaround. And that's it. Okay. And then we cut to the next scene. Um, and so this scene was just the train running by over here, heading for the intersection. And I know I had a whole bunch of stuff. I think I might have filmed it twice. There was one shot. No, this one came out pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So again, I'm just going to come up to where the train is coming on screen right over here. I'm going to go ahead and trim it right. No, I didn't want to do that. Right there. I'm going to clip that, get rid of everything in front of it. Train comes by, All right? And I'm just manually moving this over to edit it out. Come all the way down to there. And I think I stopped it at some point. Yeah. So right about here, we'll go ahead and play. And there you can see my shadow put my uh, light down and stuff. So basically right about there. We'll clip it right there, get rid of the other part. And then we go into our street scene. Now this one, I had the light, I think it came out a little bit too bright. So I'm gonna adjust this. Normally, before I started using my little light that I'm holding, um, the scenes were a little bit dark and I would actually have to increase the lighting here in the program. Um, but actually this one, I think, and this one right here, eh, they came out a little bit too bright. So what I'm going to do is just right click on it. I'm going to do a color correction here. I'm going to adjust and I know it's a little funky here. It's not white balance. It's actually under color. And here's the exposure. I'm going to turn down the exposure a little bit and the brightness just a little bit. And let's see, was that minus six, minus five? Let's see how that looks. 
It's a little bit better. We'll let it go. All right, so back to our other scene here. Train is coming up to the intersection. We cut over to here. We'll see where uh, the train actually comes in as I'm scrolling along. You can hear our horns there. Go ahead and play it right here. All right, I'm gonna cut it right there. Two horns, two long, one short, <laughs> one long. Um, so sometimes when people give me a little bit of a hard time, you're not doing a horn right. Sorry, it, it got cut in editing. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's play it from here and watch the train come across the uh, intersection. Looking pretty good. There's a little bit of a stutter in the video right here, and this video up here is only at half resolution, right? So right about there looks good because the rest of it's just uh, the train going off the screen and me moving stuff. So let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and put one of our uh, transitions between the last couple of scenes here. I'll come back here and let's go ahead and watch just those two scenes. I'm going to do the rest of it because it's basically the same thing. Um, cutting the front of the video, the back of the video, putting a transition in, and then basically just lowering the volume. And then I watch the whole thing and I do a voiceover where I kind of describe what's going on. So let's just see this last one. See if everything looks good. You know, that one right there, the sound of the locomotive was still kind of revving up a little bit and they don't match. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it forward a little bit, clip this out. I'm going to take that front part out and we got to put our fade back into it. Back up a little bit and look at that again. That sounds better. And this whole scene's a little bit too long right here, so what I'm gonna do, I think, is just clip it out anyway. Yeah, so basically I think that scene of the train just running by is a little bit too long. We can kind of get the gist that the train is running by right here. I'm gonna have to cut that and cut the rest of the video out. Put my transition back. I'll back up a little bit. And uh, let's just watch that last scene again. But this is the process that I go through to make the operations videos. It's a somewhat tedious but kind of fun process. So if you like editing video, I think you'll enjoy doing something like this. All right, that looks good. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and continue editing the rest of the video and, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, not so fast. We're gonna keep editing this just a little bit. I wanted to show you something here. So, um, so far we've only been cutting the sort of back end and the front end of the videos off. Um, but here's an example where I kind of let the film or I let the camera roll as I'm doing different scenes. And so I got to cut that st stuff out in the middle here. So here's where the train um, starts pulling into the industry. We'll go ahead and watch it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead, let the engine wind die. Well, I can't talk. Wind down. I hope you could hear me there. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and just back up a little bit there. Clip that out. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. You can see the light moving around. I'm screwing around, taking the blue flag off. All right, just before the brakes come off, right there, I think, we'll clip that and get rid of all of that stuff where I was uh, moving around the blue flag and everything. So we'll just play it from here. Train comes to a stop, blue flag disappears, and away we go into the industry. So that's how one of those things is done. And like I said, um, I'm going to 
adjust the volumes down here. I can just grab them. Um, if you see in this little section, just grab that one and I can adjust the volumes up and down. Um, I try to just have them sort of loud enough in the background. I know that someplace right about here, the way this thing looks on my screen, that that should be pretty good. And I'll go through every single one of the clips after I've edited them all. And you can see where we're at. If I scroll over, we're only at the very beginning. Here's everything. All right. There's the halfway point. <laughs> it's a lot of video, a lot of editing. That's why we're not going to watch all of that editing. All right. Let me jump in and start working on that. All right, guys, we've got our final voiceover complete. Um, final touches are going to be a little bit of music at the uh, front and back of the video. And we got to put our little button in, you know, that says subscribe and like and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and import those right now. Um, come over here to train. Here's our button. That's a little button that pops up, you know, it has like the thumbs up, thumbs down and all that. And then we're going to import our two uh, songs that I'm going to put at the beginning and the end. I think it's these two. We'll go ahead and uh, give it a try. Yep, that's the one. All right, I'm going to put that at the beginning of the video right there. And then our ending song. All right, we'll drop that one at the end and probably right about there. We're going to have to trim it off. I know it's behind me again over here, but uh, you'll see it in here in a second. So let's do the final look through. Oh, forgot our button here. We'll put our button over here somewhere. Right there. And if we take a look at the final video here, you'll see the little button thing comes up. So uh, it's got a built-in green screen. So we're coming over here. We're going to do chroma key. That's the green screen. So that'll get rid of that. Um, and then we're going to move it around. So we got to grab it here, get that, kind of resize it, put it someplace down in the corner, like right about there. So it doesn't block the, uh, you know, the actual video. And we're going to turn our music down quite a bit. Let's go and see. Matter of fact, let me, let me move this over so you can actually see what I'm doing right in the tail end right here. We'll go ahead and play. All different sizes. You can see one of the big ones there earlier. All right, guys, I hope you like that uh, operating video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button to get notified right. when I... buttons in the right spot. ...like this, operation videos, and my layout updates as I build out my Southern California base, Union Pacific, Stanton slash Santa Ana industrial leads. All right, well, hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and trim the... The music right towards the end right there so what I'm gonna do is put my cursor down there select the music trim it cut that off and the final thing we're gonna do here with the uh, the music is just do a fade in and fade out so about two seconds or so like that um, and that will trim those final few seconds let's watch the very last part of the video here Looking good, okay. Uh, so the final thing I gotta do here is the beginning music. We'll turn that stuff down because it's gotta be pretty low. And we'll also trim that too. Hey guys, it's operations time. We're gonna be uh, using the GP40-2. We're gonna be running it into... Okay. Guys, I think that looks good. So let me go ahead and normally what I would do is just export this video as is by coming up here, creating a video and uh, giving it a name, and saving it off and loading it to YouTube. But now I got to edit in the video parts of me editing the video. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's how I do it. Hey guys, it's operations time. 
We're going to be uh, using the GP40-2. We're going to be running it into Southern California Edison here in Westminster. If you remember from our last video, we uh, dropped off a few cars over in Huntington Beach. And this is our next stop here. So you see this gondola right here. That sucker is going to go into the industry here, but we've got a couple cars in the way first here. We've got two cars that have to get picked up out of the industry. And then there's one more car sitting in the off spot. Um, so we got to pick that one up and move it over to the left side of the industry along with that gondola. So we're doing our run, run around maneuver here. We've gone and disconnected our train, went back onto the west side main line to do our run around here. We'll head down to Huntington Beach where we can get back on the east side main line and back into the industry to get that off spot car out of the way. Well, some of the crew is out here working, keeping the traffic uh, safe. end of the uh, main line here we'll do our uh, switch over to the east side run back across the street here and head into the industry to get that off spot car out of the way so cal edison is a little bit of a tricky industry it's actually a little switchback um, so it's technically a i guess a uh, <laughs> a trailing spur but uh makes for an interesting uh operation session here so into the industry we go first thing we got to do is get the car that's going to be in the off spot and pull it out of the industry and that's that gondola with the girder in it and that's in our way we can't get the other cars out of the way because they're off to the left hand side and we can't fit with that uh with that gondola in our way and plus we're going to be moving that one and the other gondola that we left out on the main line those guys are going over to the left so first order of business let's get this guy out of the way we'll pull him out and then shove him back into the other gondola and then We'll head back into the industry and get rid of these two uh, pickups. You can see that yellow flat car. That's one of them. And that's going to be coming out. You can see our conductor there at the uh, switch. Flipping it for us so we can uh, shove that, uh, that car into our other gondola. I think the uh, engineer there stopped a little bit too soon. He had to pull a little bit farther forward first. All right, we're connected up. We're going to push them a little bit farther just so we can clear the, uh, the turnout or switch, whichever way you want to call it. Yeah, we're disconnected. We're gonna go ahead and pull forward and head into the industry. Grab our two pickups. SoCal Edison, they're still working on their uh, razor wire fence, barbed wire fence, whatever you want to call it. Only half of the industry is uh, has it installed so far.
Alright, we'll get this flat car and uh, the other gondola that's uh, just off to the left there behind the, uh, the MyJack crane. Those are, our, those are our two pickups that are going to be coming out. We'll pull them out of the industry and shove them all the way down the uh, main line and drop them off to get them out of our way. The reason we had to get rid of that uh, off spot, first off, we had to kind of get it in the proper position because we're going to have to shove it into our uh, trailing internal spur. And then also this section here on the right only has room for two cars and one locomotive. Back across the street here in Huntington Beach, you can see our uh, our crew is out there working hard, making sure uh, the pedestrians are all safe as we cross the street. We'll leave these two pickups here at the end. Of the uh, main line dead end there. And then we're going to go back onto the west side main line, right? Because that, like I said, that the internal spur is uh, technically a trailing spur, so we got to get back on the other side of our train. But we've got another wrinkle in there. We've got a boxcar sitting there, and uh, we got to get rid of that boxcar first because it's in the way. And like I said, we only have enough room. Hey, dude. Hello, you're supposed to be watching the traffic. Sheesh, these guys. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, we've done our run around here. We've got this a box car here that's going to be going into yet a different industry. And uh, we can't fit both gondolas and the box car into that, uh, that little spur there in the uh, SoCal Edison. So we've got to get rid of this box car. So we're going to temporarily spot it back on the west side main line we'll go past the uh, turnout here to the right shove it back into the west side and then come back around and grab our two uh, drop-offs and get them into socal edison Kind of nice having this uh, industry set up the way it is because uh, it does make for an interesting operating session here, especially if you start throwing extra cars like that box car into the mix. All right, so we've got our off spot car, the one with the red gantry crane thing in it, or girder, or whatever it is, and the other gondola. We'll push past the uh, incoming spur, head into the industry, and drop those two suckers off, and we will be done.
All right, one more shoving maneuver here to get those two cars in the proper space. And we can make our way through the uh, little zigzag here internally in the uh, SoCal Edison facility. And we'll head on out. We're going to continue on in the next video. With that boxcar there, we'll be switching that out in uh, another industry. Alright, conductor is uh, disconnected our cars there. Let's get out of here. Gotta go kind of slow inside of this facility. Lots of activity. Southern California Edison here. They make uh, transformers. of all different sizes. You can see one of the big ones there earlier. All right, guys, I hope you liked that uh, operating video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button to get notified when I post new videos like this, operation videos, and my layout updates as I build out my Southern California-based Union Pacific Stanton slash Santa Ana Industrial Leads. Till next time, guys. Take care.